So um, I, when when my parents, I, I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but my parents divorced when I was in about getting ready to go in third grade. Um, and we moved to a pretty upper middle class area. My mom being a single mom, we were not up upper middle class. We weren't we weren't super poor, nothing. I'm not playing that card, but we uh, we didn't have what all my preppy friends had for sure. And two of the things I did not have was some real leather boots. They all had khakis and nice sweaters and real leather boots. I didn't even really have boots. I just had tennis shoes. And seriously, when it snowed, you my mom would give us bread bread bags and you would put bread bags over your tennis shoes so they didn't get wet in the snow and you would go you go out and go sled riding and the other thing i did not have was a proper sled we would just find a sheet of plastic or a, a lid to a garbage can or something like that um and so one year and we lived right just a few blocks from this amazing temple with terraced hills that just went down forever the place to sled ride as soon as it snowed, everybody knew that everybody would be there. The younger, the younger folks um, would all be doing the sled riding. The middle schoolers were the ones that were, uh, they were up at the top. The high schoolers were, uh, they were the ones that were standing around the oil drum, warming their hands, smoking cigarettes, acting cool as shit. And we would just look at them and just wish we could be a part of that world. So anyway, I wake up Christmas morning and that Christmas morning under the tree, leather boots, and a flexible flyer. Now Sorry, that's me, guys. I have gas. I apologize. I had no chicken vindaloo today. So I get to go to sled riding uh, with my boots and my sled. And I go and all my friends are at the temple and everybody's on the hill. And I got to have some of the best 20 minutes of my life until my friend Amy asked if she could borrow my sled. And I said, of course, Amy. And so she got on at the top. She started going down. And at the bottom, I should tell you, there was a long, flat straightaway before it dropped off like 10 feet down to a major street. <laughs> you just had to turn before you went to the major street. It was very safe. You just had to turn. Amy's going faster, 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 not turning, not turning, not turning. And I'm going, turn, Amy, turn, turn. She doesn't turn. She just rolls off of the sled. And the sled just takes off on its own. Goes off that little jump lands in the street and a bus immediately goes shook, shook. and my flexible flyer is now just shards of wood and metal just scraps of nothing and i'm trying not to cry i'm in about fourth or fifth grade just trying to hold my shit together and i go down there and i look at it and everybody's going oh dude and i pick it all up in my arms like like a <laughs> the broken baby it was and suddenly i got this idea and i look at the top of the hill and all the uh, eighth and ninth graders around that oil drum. So I carry my sled all the way to the top. Um, the boots I got, by the way, they weren't real leather boots like everybody else. Uh, these were pleather, that, that kind of rubberized, vulcanized, looks like leather, not so much leather. Um, but at least I had those. So I go back to the top of the hill and I give them all my wood and they're like, Little dude, that's awesome. Dude's broke his, he broke his sled. He's going to let us burn his sled, everybody. Ah, so I took what was lemonade, uh, lemons and turned it into lemonade. And I was standing next to this gorgeous eight-year-old girl, and she was being so friendly, and they all felt so bad. And, and we're just there, and things are good again, and life is maybe not as bad as it was. When all of a sudden, uh, she says, what's that smell? <laughs> And the guy beside her goes, looks down and goes, dude, your boots. And the toes of my boots had melted stuck flat to the hot oil drum with the fire. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, my boots. And I get up and I'm, and I'm pulling my feet away from the oil drum, but they stick to it like taffy and they just stretch for like two or three feet. Until the cold air makes them snap, and now I've got open boots that curl at the toes. All these teenagers pointing and laughing, and I slowly walked home with no sled and melted elf boots. I and I walked in the door, and my mom was like, "I don't even want to." You're a doctor. That was my golden day. Oh man. Wow. Nice. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Right. I'm relieved, Chip, because when the girl said, what's that smell? 
I thought that you had shit your pants when your sweat exploded and you just couldn't remember. Well, they had served, were, why did they serve chicken vindaloo on the hill? I did not <laughs> uh, Right. The fucking right. vindaloo, man. It haunts you. 